Timken is the technical authority on the tapered roller bearing design used in nearly all commercial vehicles. We offer the world's most extensive line of tapered roller bearings. Designed to manage both axial and radial loads, tapered bearings offer the best design of anti-friction bearings for many applications. This video describes a tapered roller bearing's components and how they work together to reduce friction. Every tapered roller bearing has four components. The cone, or inner ring, the cup, or outer ring, the tapered rollers, and the cage, or retainer. Let's look at the features of each component. The cone has a tapered race with a large rib and small rib that help keep the rollers in place as they rotate during operation. Raceways are the inner surfaces of the cup and cone where the rollers make contact. Requiring skillful design and manufacturing, the cone is the most complex component, with many precisely machined features designed to improve bearing performance. The cone is installed onto the shaft, then mated to the cup that is pressed inside the housing. Timpkin offers thousands of combinations of highly engineered cups and cones, which must be carefully paired for each application. The tapered rollers are the rolling elements that rotate between the cup and the cone. While it's too small to see without magnification, each roller is machined with a crown along its body. Likewise, the cup and cone are machined to have crowns along their raceways. These slightly raised areas create a small point of contact when the bearing is lightly loaded. That reduces torque and, therefore, energy used. As the load increases, the crowns flatten which increases the contact area and the load carrying capability of the bearing. Spreading the load also reduces fatigue within the bearing, resulting in longer bearing life. The cage holds the rollers in place around the cone, creating a one-piece cone, roller, and cage combination that's easier to handle during assembly and maintenance. The cage also guides the rollers as they rotate, keeping them properly aligned. The cage doesn't push the rollers when under load, the bearing's naturally rolling motion is what drives the rollers around the races. The tapered surfaces of the rollers, as well as the cup and cone races, give tapered roller bearings the inherent ability to handle both radial and axial loads. The clearest example of the benefit of this design is a vehicle. As it travels straight ahead, the loads are radial, the weight of the vehicle on the bearings. When the vehicle turns a corner, it adds axial load as the weight of the vehicle is pushed to the outside of the curve. Every vehicle experiences this combination of forces, which is why tapered bearings are commonly found in the wheels. But many other machines, like wind turbines, gearboxes, machine tools, and pumps, also have both radial and axial loads. They depend on tapered bearings for operating efficiency. Another valuable feature of the tapered bearing is that it can be adjusted to meet the needs of the application and maximize bearing life. Because the cone assembly and cup are separate, it's possible to vary or adjust the clearance between the rollers and bearing raceways. The space or clearance between the cup and cone is called end play. End play allows expansion of the bearing components as they warm up during use, but too much end play allows misalignment in the application. Moving the cup and cone more tightly together reduces end play to the point of creating a condition called preload. This increases the rigidity of the bearing, holding the shaft or axle in better alignment. In wheel ends, this adjustment is made using the wheel adjusting nut. Mechanics working with bearings need to be concerned with a few key bearing dimensions. To ensure that the cup will fit properly in the housing, you need to know the cup width the outside diameter, or OD, and the back face radius. The radius on both the cup and cone is important because the back face needs to fit squarely and securely in the housing or against the bearing seat. For the cone or cone assembly with rollers and cage, the most important dimensions are the cone bore, or ID, the cone width, and the back face bore radius. When assembled, the two critical dimensions are the total bearing width and the cage clearance. Cage clearance is how far beyond the face of the bearing the cage extends. Without enough clearance in the bearing mounting, the cage could contact the mounting. 
The tapered roller bearing isn't right for every application. Where the loads are light or strictly radial, the benefits of tapered bearings aren't needed. But in applications with combined axial and radial loads, tapered roller bearings are often the right choice for the job. Count on Timken, the tapered roller bearing expert for reliable and consistent performance.